Welcome to July's Lico Challenge. Another month, another challenge. This question is called arranging coins. You have a total of n coins and you want to form a staircase shape where every kth row has exactly kth coins. So every row has one coin, two coins, three coins. Given n, find the total number total number of full staircase rows. So here we're given a number five. We can see that we can only form two full staircases because the last one is not fully formed. So we return two. Same thing here. We're only going to return three because the last one, fourth row here, is not fully formed. All right, so the first initial approach might be just to do an exhaustive algorithm where we build up our number of staircases uh, and make sure that it, the number is going to be less than n. So all, all we really need to do there is initialize a couple of variables, stairs, uh, let's say coins, and i, which is going to be the iterator. And we'll st start with, there's going to be zero stairs. We'll have one coin and one for the iterator. So while the total number of coins is less than or equal to the n given to us, what do we want to do? Uh, increase our stairs by one stair. Uh, increase our coins by the number of i. And increase our i. And I actually think I need to increment our i first like this. And once we do that, we just return our stairs. And that's going to allow us to stop before before we add any more of the un, unfull staircases. As you can see, we get two. Let's just submit that. And that does get accepted. But this is a big O of n solution, right? Can we do better? And in order to kind of explain that, let's go to the whiteboard and see what we could figure out. Let's start off by representing this visually. Let's say that we had n equals six, six coins. How would these stairs look like? Well, they would look something like this, right? And we can see here that the number of stairs is gonna equal three. So is there some mathematical formula that we could take advantage of to see how many staircases there's going to be for number of n. Well, immediately you can kind of see that this looks like a box, right? And we know that the height for here is k equals three. Could we take advantage of this square shape to see if there's an equation? And let's just fill out, fill out the squares and see what that, where that takes us. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to work at first. But try imagining if we added one more column. Well, now we see that the number of coins is half of one more staircase. So this here is going to equal four, basically three plus one. And if you just divide that by two, then you can get the number of coins according to how many steps there are. So the equation ultimately becomes k number of stairs times k plus 1 divided by 2. And what we want to do is figure out the maximum k that's going to be either less than or equal to n, which is the number of coins given to us. Now we have an equation that we could take advantage of. Using this, we could do a binary search from the range 1 all the way to 6 and see, starting at the middle, if this condition holds. If it equals one another, we can just return that n immediately. If the number of uh, n, n generated is greater than and then we could check to see, okay, can we have less staircases and see if we can still fill this condition? Otherwise, if it's less than n, we can go to the right and see, can we have more staircases and still fulfill this condition? Now, there is one more thing I should mention, and this one I find unrealistic for someone to figure out, but regardless, I should mention it. This equation could be simplified into a quadratic formula. So it could look something like, first k, k 
k plus 1 square equal to 2n. And we could simplify that to, or expand it to look something like taking the 2n this side, something like this. And this is a familiar equation, right? We could use the quadratic formula to figure out what the k is. If you recall, the quadratic formula is, uh, is x equals minus b plus or minus, uh, what was it? I think it was b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And if we input all these numbers, uh, a is going to equal 1, b is going to equal 1, and c is going to equal minus 2n, right? Then we should get like a single equation that we could take advantage of to figure out the x, which here is going to be the k. So let's just do that real quick. It looks something like it's 1, 1, minus 4, 1, minus 2n, right, and 2, 1. So that's going to end up equaling minus 1, plus or minus uh, 1, plus 8n square root, and divide that by 2. Now this we can actually take advantage of to um, get the floor of whatever k is generated, and using that, since we already have been given n, which is the number of coins, we just find the, the floor of this k and return that as well. All right, so now that we have our equation, <clears throat> let's write up our binary search. Start with initializing a left and right pointer, one at zero and one at n, because that's gonna be the maximum number of stairs possible given the number of coins. So while l is less than or equal to r, let's first calculate our midpoint. And that's going to be equal to L plus R divided by 2. Now let's calculate the amount of coins that are going to be um, calculated for this midpoint. So that's going to be just mid times mid plus 1 divided by 2, right? And get the order of operations right. So if coins equals N, then we return the midpoint. That's the number of staircases there are. Otherwise, if coins is, let's say, uh, greater, uh, well, let's say less than n. No, no, no let's, let's say greater than n. And that means that we're going to have to search the left side, see if there's any less stairs that we can calculate. So that would mean make the right pointer equal to mid minus 1. And otherwise, make L equal mid plus 1. For out of this loop, we want to return the right point pointer because um, uh, because that's going to be, at, at a certain point, we want to maximize, right? So we want to return the R. Let's just make sure this runs. And the code's a little slow today. OK, so it looks like it ran for our test case. Let's submit that and accept it. So great, this is our binary search solution. It's going to be a log of n time complexity. Finally, let's return to that mathematical equation I talked about. And if you recall, it looked something like um, minus 1 plus or minus the square root of uh, 1 plus 8n divided by 2. Right, and we want to find the floor of that. So we could do int to get the floor, and let's see if I got this right. I need to make this more operations like this, and let me just run this and make sure this looks okay. Huh. Okay, so I messed up the syntax somewhere here. Ah, multiple sign. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know why we code so slow today. It's strange. Okay, but it looks like it's good. And let's go ahead and submit that. And if you're curious how I knew whether to do plus or minus there, um, well, I just tested it out. And if you see, if you use minus, you'll actually end up getting negative, negative stair numbers. And that's just not possible for this, uh, for this problem, right? So that was just kind of testing it out and seeing what the numbers came out to be. So you can see it becomes negative three and that's not right. So yeah, so this looks like it's gonna be the most efficient solution. I, I don't think this is a realistic one to come up with during an interview. If you can come up with the binary search one, I think that's already pretty impressive. So take a look, uh, hopefully this helps. Thank you.